Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. I'm pretty hyped and uh, yeah, I've just put Nathan down to bed. He's sleeping or on his iPad for a little while now. And uh, yeah, I thought that I'd actually get online and do a video or two. And today's video, we're actually going to be looking at some brand new leaks of skins coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very, very soon. And we actually have the 3D models for every single one of these items. So it's very interesting indeed. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll kind of give you guys a little bit of a perspective of the skins before you actually buy them. So it's kind of like a before you buy kind of episode today, I guess. You know, I'm just kind of looking out for you guys. Uh, but anyway, before we get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite videos just like this one right here. And I do have to apologize about my voice. I was out last night drinking while my mother babysat Nathan. And uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a going on and stuff. So yeah, I do apologize. But uh, yeah, anyway, so today we're actually going to be looking at around about four or five items that haven't been added into Fortnite yet. And uh, some of them are the upcoming skins, gliders, and even the pickaxes too. So very interesting. And uh, these are actually complementary of Skin Tracker. This is actually a website where basically they go inside the in-game files, they data mine them, and then basically they... I, like they add them into like a 3d model viewer and they're able to like kind of rotate around the character Kind of look at all of the ins and outs and kind of give you guys a little bit of a perspective on how these things will look in a 3d kind of environment So very very cool indeed So anyway, what we're gonna do is start off with the first skin which is on screen right now And as you can see here it is right here It's called the fly trap and this is going to be the legendary skin and as you can see this is from the uh, skin tracker a uh, Fortnite skin tracker So thank you very much for this dude, but if we just kind of go here and click this right here You can actually see that we can go inside the in-game files or sorry inside the model itself and kind of rotate it around and look at it from different kind of perspectives. Now, honestly, yeah, I do apologize that the uh, the quality of this isn't actually that great. I don't think you can increase the quality on this right now. But basically, you can see that this is the fly trap, dude. This is actually the guy who is presumably putting all of the kind of grass around Dusty Divot. So all of that new kind of fauna that you're seeing around that area is because of this dude right here. Apparently, he is going to be linked to that in some kind of way. And he looks pretty cool, actually. I really like the bottom of his feet, where it kind of looks like he's got all these vines kind of grown up to his kind of thigh. And then also, he's got these vines or these kind of like trap-looking things as his shoulder pads. And also, this crazy, crazy mohawk. Um, and also from behind he looks pretty cool. I like these like little zigzag kind of like lightning bolt things They look pretty cool. He's got a pretty. He's got a big ass man. He's got a really he's been doing squats, bro I'm telling you he looks good. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I generally like this skin uh, I'm not gonna be buying it personally, but yeah, I know for a fact that some of you guys will most likely like this So yeah uh, the next one that we're going to be moving on to was actually leaked a little while ago, and uh, this is the Royal Bomber skin. It's actually been rumored that this skin may actually be called something different at a later date, but I doubt it. Normally, once the names are in the in-game files, that's technically, or that's pretty much like what they're called. They never really change them at the very, very last minute. Yeah, but anyway, as I was saying, this is going to be on screen right now, and this is going to be an epic skin. If I just click on the play button again, uh, you can see that uh, basically it looks pretty cool. I mean, obviously, this is a version of the Raptor skin or the Twitch Prime skin, uh, you know, because you can tell us by the hood itself, like it's got all the fur around it. He's got the gloves on, and uh, yeah, nothing really much to say about him. Other than it is meant to be, uh, what's his name? It's, it's meant to be Sylvester Stallone from the Expendables movie. That's actually what this is meant to do, be. Because, uh, you know, he has the aviators on and everything. And he looks very, very similar to that character themselves. Uh, but it has actually been rumored that this dude right here will not be in the item store. Apparently, this is going to be something special. Like, so, for example, like a PS4 skin exclusive. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much like this dude. You can't buy him. You get him from some kind of event or something like, you know, um, the PlayStation exclusive store or Xbox exclusive, you know. But basically what I'm thinking is because he's all blue, it's most likely going to be the next free skin that you're able to get through the PS4 kind of, uh, I guess, like a PSN kind of thing or whatever it's called. It's like PS Gold or something. I, PS Plus. I don't know what it's called. I don't use my PlayStation that much. Uh, but again, 
a pretty good little uh, character, to be honest. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the Bray is awesome, too. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be moving on to the next skin, which is also another epic skin. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite kind of skins out of this list today. And uh, she is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, it is the Ventura uh, epic skin. This is the uh, female variant of the... Um, I forget the male's name. If you guys know what it is, please comment down below. I would really like to know, to be honest. But I know his name begins with a V2. Um, but anyway, if we just click play on here, you can see that the character looks really cool itself. Like, she's got these awesome little spikes at the back of her, like, legs, uh, which look pretty awesome. The feet in general look really nice. And then, I just kind of like all of this body art. So, for example, you know, she's got that, like, yellow kind of a slice right there. She's got one there on her thigh. And then, it's kind of the same. It's It just looks really nice, in my opinion. Uh, but one thing I really do like is the fact that she has a shoulder blade right here, or a shoulder pad right here, but none on the other side of her arm. Um, I don't necessarily know why, like, developers do this with their characters, but sometimes I kind of like it, which is really weird to say, but, yeah, I don't know. That's just me. And uh, also, we can see that she does have her hair in, like, kind of in a bubble. I guess, no, it's not a bubble, is it? It's like a ponytail, yeah. It's like a ponytail that's been, like, vacuumed and everything. And uh, it's really unique. It looks pretty cool, actually. I mean, I'm very interested to see if somebody snipes that piece of hair right there, will it count as a headshot? I mean, I doubt it, but, you know, it's still very interesting to kind of think about because you know you obviously wouldn't buy a skin if somebody hit there and you got a headshotted you know you wouldn't want the skin like that so yeah uh, but anyway that is the uh, that's pretty much the end for all of the skins we're going to be moving on now to the flyers uh, which is the first one is going to be on screen right now and as you can see this one is called the venus flyer and this is going to be an epic uh, flyer and uh, if we just click on the play button right here you can't see that it doesn't actually show the animation itself which is very very sad but all we can assume is that that these little things like move and everything because I mean it is an epic kind of glider and to be honest if the epic glider doesn't have some sort of animation I would be very disappointed you know uh, but again it looks like a cool thing uh, again I'm not gonna buy it to be honest I don't really like it but I know for a fact that some of you guys have been very hyped about the Venus uh, flytrap a kind of flyer and also the uh, what is it the fly trap dude themselves so yeah i can imagine a couple of you guys will actually buy that uh, the next one that we're going to be moving on is the last one in today's episode guys and uh, it's going to be on screen right now and of course this one is again to go with the fly trap character and it is called the tendril rare pickaxe and um, when i first saw this i didn't really think much of it but now that i'm seeing it as a 3d model i'm like Okay, that looks pretty cool, I'll admit. I, I really kind of like that, the way it looks. Um, but buying this and not having the skin would just really, really annoy me. So yeah, tell me guys in the comment section below, like which of these, after seeing these models, like which of them are you actually going to buy, if at all? I mean, personally for me, my favorites have got to be... Oh, gee, I don't even like any of them. Like, I don't like any of them enough to buy them. But if I was going to buy any of them, I think it would most likely be... Ugh, it's so difficult. Maybe the Ventura character? Because I didn't get the male variant of her. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just kind of wanted to add it to my collection. So, I'm still not 100% sure if I am going to buy any of these. But, uh, like I said, you know, none of them immediately, like, kind of scream at me to say, buy me, buy me. Except for that Tendril one. But, again... I don't want to buy it if I don't have the set. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, but anyway, like I said, I do apologize about my voice. I can hear it going constantly. Yeah, I was drinking a lot last night. So, yeah, I was, I was kind of a bit hungover in the morning, too. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it very enjoyable to see all of these early access kind of leaks. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can hit around about 500 likes or something. That'd be really cool. And, uh, yeah, I guess just enjoy the gameplay in the background of today's video. And, uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Until next time, I've been Star Lord. See ya.